Hello, I'm Susan Guthrie of Divorce in a Better Way. And today, you know, I was looking through a list of the most searched terms about divorce and like number four or five on the list was free divorce. And I was thinking about it and obviously people are wondering, is there a way to get a free divorce? Um, so I thought I'd talk about that today because you know, as with most things in life, um, a free divorce is not likely um, at, because at its very base, um, all court systems have a filing fee. So understand that divorce is a legal process, right? You have to file a lawsuit um, in order to process the legal aspects of dissolving the marital relationship. Um, so even if it's the simplest of all divorces in the world, there is still a need to file that lawsuit. So that amount varies. Some states, I think it's as low as about $200 all the way up to, I think California is like over 500, maybe even $600 to file um, the divorce. Actually, I think it's 400 and something, but each party to the divorce has to pay the fee um, if they're both um, going to fi be filing a, a complaint and a counterclaim. Um, so is there such a thing as a free divorce? As I said earlier, not likely, but there are ways to keep the cost down and in fact, significantly keep the cost down. Now I should mention most courts do have a, an application to waive filing fees. Um, and that is, you know, an application that you would make to the court. You usually have to file a financial affidavit, meaning a sworn statement of your income, um, expenses, liabilities, and assets. Um, and if you are indigent, meaning you truly essentially are homeless, have income below the poverty level, um, the court has the discretion to waive those filing fees. So I, I should say there's a caveat here. If you have the world's simplest divorce, you can fill out the paperwork on your own and you can get the court to waive the filing fee then you may be able to get a free divorce. That's presuming you have an agreement and you know everything's all filled out. But other than that rare circumstance, uh, there are going to be those filing fee costs. Many states also require service of process, meaning serving the paperwork on the other side, the marshal or process server who serves the paperwork, um, that person needs to get paid as well. That's usually 50 to $100. So those are all just you know, administrative costs to getting a divorce. The true cost, I think everyone knows, um, that really rolls up in getting a divorce is around the litigation that accompanies divorce. Um, and that mainly goes to attorney's fees. That's usually the biggest one. But then there's expert witness fees. There are um, valuation fees. There might be financial advisor fees. There might be guardian ad litem fees if you have a custodial action or attorney for the minor children. Um, and that's where, you know, the more people you get involved who are professionals, the more money. And the longer your case drags out, the more all those professionals are working and the more they are all charging you. So if you want to have, if not a free divorce, but a less expensive divorce, the key is limit your professionals or limit them to the ones that you need to move your process quickly and smoothly. Um, and avoid litigation. Now, I recently was talking to Ben Heldfond and um, his uh, former um, wife, Nikki DiBartolo, and they uh, had been married, I think, for about nine years, had a son, so, and, and had, you know, some, some money and some assets, and they decided to divorce, and they actually went and sat at a table at Starbucks for about six or seven sessions. If you read their book, it's called Our Happy Divorce. And they talk about how they sat at the table and basically talked through all of the issues that needed to be talked through with some outside advice. 
from attorneys or from financial advisors, but they came together, came to the agreements, and then took them back to their professionals, basically just to draft everything up for them. And, you know, that is always an option. The thing that people forget when they are getting divorced, and a lot of this has to do with just being blinded by all the emotion that is going on, is you are, it can be 100% in control of your process with your soon to be X. If the two of you decide that you are going to work out these issues in a reasonable fashion between the two of you and turn over the details to your professionals to get everything signed up and, and written properly and drafted so that it can go to the court, that is by far going to be the least expensive route, right? Because you're using your professionals as little as possible while still being supported by them. Um, now I will say, it can be very hard for people to go sit at Starbucks and talk through these issues about who's going to get what, who uh, keeps the, you know, the hutch in the dining room, who's going to pay for this, who's going to assume the credit card debt, how you're going to split your time with your child or children. Those things are difficult to talk about. Um, so another option that I've talked about in, in many other videos, but I just want to raise it here because it is a much less expensive way to get divorced is to hire a mediator so that the mediator helps you by identifying the issues that you need to talk about. Sometimes, you know, divorce isn't your world. So you don't even know what you need to talk about and make decisions about. I mean, I think at a high level, it's always obvious, right? What's going to happen to the house? How are you going to split your time with the children? But there's a lot more that nuanced uh, issues that come up with those things that unless you're immersed in divorce day to day, like we are as divorce professionals, you're not going to know these things. So your divorce mediator will help you with that. And then they're going to help you have these conversations, these difficult often conversations that you need to have. But again, you two still are going to make the decisions. Your mediator or again, your other legal professionals will draft that up and that's what you're going to submit to the court. That will be much less expensive than the traditional model of you hire an attorney, they hire an attorney, and the two attorneys do all the work. Because remember, while the two attorneys are doing all the work, even if what they're doing is trying to negotiate a settlement for you rather than litigating in a courtroom, they are spending time on your case and they bill by the hour. And so for every minute, it's usually done in six to 10 minute increments, you're getting billed as is your ex or soon to be ex. That builds up very quickly. It also builds up over time. So understand the longer your divorce drags on, the more money it's going to cost. So if you've been Googling free divorce, I'm sad to say that is unlikely unless you are truly indigent or in circumstances where you have no access to funds. But there are many steps that you can take to reduce the cost of your divorce. Uh, it all comes down to the two of you, you and your ex, deciding that you're going to control your destiny, that you two are going to, to the best of your ability, work things out in a fashion that reduces the amount of time the process takes, reduces the amount of back and forth, and reduces the number of outside professionals that need to be involved for an extended period of time doing the work for you. The more you are willing to take on and handle yourselves, the more likely it will be that it will be a speedier process and it will cost you less money. Now, there are a million resources available to people online. Laura Wasser has It's Over Easy, which is an online platform that helps you with the filing of your divorce paperwork and what you need to discuss with your spouse. That's available in every state. Um, my friend, attorney Erin Levine, has Hello Divorce, which right now is available in California and is soon to be launching in a variety of additional states, but also just has a large number of resources available on there. So those are two great resources to start with. On my um, Divorce in a Better Way website, I have a number of resources and more of my videos that will help you to know the issues that you might need to resolve. I have a good long, it's a longer video about 40 minutes or so about what divorce mediation is and what the benefits are, how to pick a mediator, 
So, you know, do your best to educate yourself because that's another way to keep your costs down. The more you know, the less you have to get the information from your professionals. So although there's no free divorce, I hope that you found some of these tips helpful in helping you keep the divorce costs down. Uh, please feel, uh, take a moment to look at my other videos and to subscribe to the channel. And if you like this video or any of the others, I'd love it if you just leave me a little thumbs up like and a comment. Um, so thank you so much and I'll see you next week.